Hey guys, this is Grant Harkins for Game Art Project Class, Quinto Martin. Um, I'm just going to do a quick run through my level because last week uh, I kind of had shoddy quality on the, um, the video feed of the level. So I'm going to try to encode it a little bit better this time so maybe you can actually see what I've done here. Um, this is going to be my finished level I'm going to be submitting. Um, my one qualm with the level um, is I wanted it to get kind of a darker feeling, but I've played around with all the light settings I possibly could. Um, like, if I get it to be dark, it's not casting shadows the way I want. Like, if I turn global illumination off, um, it just doesn't, um, it's not accomplishing what I wanted to. I tried to turn off global illumination and set up point lights, and I changed all the static meshes in the entire level to um, cast dynamic lights, but it, it didn't get what... Um, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, hopefully I can adjust that in the future and uh, learn more about the lighting in Unreal, but right now I've, I've, I'm uh, decided to go with what I had and I kind of just embellished upon it a little bit. I added a lot of light bloom in the level and, um, and uh, uh, a lot of specular lighting, which I, I felt kind of enhanced the way it was looking. So I, I don't know, I'm pretty satisfied with how it came out. Um, Every um, static mesh and stuff I made is going to have per poly collision. Um, if we, these are some crates that I made, um, we can like jump on top of them. Um, <coughs> everything over here, you got a dumpster and some trash bags. Uh, this switch I set up with Kismet, um, it's got a 4 second delay after it opens for the player to get through. So we'll hit that, the switch goes down, gate opens, sound effects play, and after 4 seconds it closes. Um, I thought this was like kind of like a starting area to keep enemies out and stuff. Um, we pass through. I have some um, window textures I made, some rolling metal gate texture I made. Uh, we got the dumpster over here, trash bags. Uh, I made this uh, this axe model here, uh, with a multi-sub object. I wanted to try to get this to be programmable in as a weapon, but um, I did all the animations in Actor X and... and um, Max and I imported it over and the animations play and stuff in Unreal, but I I don't I just don't know how to get it programmed to be a, a weapon. I looked through the INI &I files and I was playing around with it, but it was just taking too much time. Um, I'm gonna have to save up another quarter or project. Um, uh, so all the lights in my level are gonna be emissive, uh, have emissive textures. Um, basically, right now we just got these basic lights over here. Um, <clears throat> we come out out of the alleyway into the main street area. Uh, we got like a lot of destruction, debris and stuff. I have another multi-sub object I made here. It's like a street light. Um, and obviously it's got a missive texture for the light part. Um, we got, um, I made this billboard thing here. It's my concept art from the level. I thought it would be kind of fun to put that up there. Um, and more debris. Um, obviously this will stop the player from going that way and I want the player to go over there. Um, <coughs> I set the collision a little different on some other areas up here um, for uh, we can climb on top of um, the statue thing over here. Um, everything else is just per poly collision though. Um, if we come down here know that I need this thing as per poly because I thought the player can get up on top of this. Uh, maybe I'll do it from the other side. Um, I know that it is set up as per poly. And we can get on top of this structure over here. Um, kind of keep away uh, any bad guys that might be coming at us. Um, there's uh, two layers of fog I put through the entire level, I'm sure you guys see it. Um, there's a high density fog right above the ground level um, to kind of create this mist uh, feeling. And then obviously this whole volume is filled with um, a very, very light density fog um, so we can see through it, you know, improve visibility. Um, you can see all the light bloom from the buildings uh, um, and stuff, the lit windows, I kind of like that effect. Um, I also added a trigger event right over here that's going to uh, use the console command exit to close Unreal because that's where I'm ending the level. 
Um, so I hope you like my level. This is a pretty decent view of it, I think, and I'm going to end it right now. So thank you.